Hello friends, welcome to Fine Year of Success. This is another video which is a part of the miscellaneous series. In this particular video, we are going to talk about Marangani instability. Marangani instability is an important phenomenon and many times we have to include it to model our physical problem. Because in that particular physical problem, Marangani instability may have a significant role to play. Marangani instability basically happens due to the difference or the gradient of interfacial tension or surface tension. So, in normal cases, what we assume the interfacial property or the properties at the interface remain constant across the entire interface. However, in actual cases, the properties may vary and that may depend on the concentration, temperature or many other effects. But if the property varies, then a residual force actually, actually interact on the surface or we can actually say a residual force acts along the interface and that residual force may lead to a certain hydrodynamic instability and that particular instability is commonly known as Marangani instability. Here is a particular model in the application library of COMSOL which is on jet instability. So I would like to talk about this jet instability taking the usual manual rather than demonstrating it because the demonstration will be similar to two-phase flow and for two-phase flow you may go to my video on two-phase flow and I will put the video in the description box. So if you do not know about how to model two-phase flow, kindly visit the link and watch the video. So let us proceed with this jet instability. So it is always better to look at the picture to understand the physical phenomena. So jet instability is like this. You have a thread of water and what happens due to certain forces that may arise from the Marangani force, it deforms and after all it breaks into droplets. So this is called jet instability and the reason behind this instability is a gradient of surface tension that exists along the interface. So this is, this is called the interface because you have a water thread that is basically kept in air because we have air everywhere. So the property, interfacial property means property across the water and air interface and that surface property across water and air interface is known as the surface tension. Now in this particular model what they have done is they have assumed that the interfacial surface tension varies following this particular equation where you can say the sigma is equal to sigma naught into a1 minus 0.2 of a cos function. So this particular cos function will cause a kind of perturbation of the property along the interface and this perturbation means you have a gradient of sigma and how exactly this gradient of sigma to be incorporated in your modeling that is the question. Because theoretically we have told like if there is a gradient of surface tension then Marangani force appears but where exactly this force is to be kept. One thing we have to understand in COMSOL you have an option to put volume force which is nothing but the body force but the surface tension force is not a body force it only acts along the interface so as a body force we cannot put this particular force term in our console modeling. So because of that what we need to do is we need to actually work with level set model because in COMSOL in level set model you have the option to choose this surface tension effect and how exactly this is integrated with the flow physics for that we have to look at this particular equation. So here we can see this is the equation for the momentum. This is the continuity equation 
and now let us look at the boundary condition so what is it this is a two phase condition so we have a phase one and phase two and in between phase one and phase two we have an interface so along that interface what are the boundary conditions the boundary conditions are normal stress balance and the shear stress balance so what is normal stress balance so when you have a liquid surface a deformed liquid surface so a tension or a stress always act on the deformed surface and that stress may have the normal direction and the and the tangential direction so you may have component of that particular stress along these two direction that is taken on any point of the deformed interface and those are called tangential stress along the tangential direction and the normal stress component along the normal direction so here t1 and t2 are the hydrodynamic stress and by now you should know that this hydrodynamic stress is nothing but equal to this formula where this is coming from the Newtonian stress and you may have read about it so this this is minus P into I where I is the unit tensor and P is the pressure and those are the gradient of U where U is the velocity vector or the velocity field of the fluid so from there you can actually get the tensor or the stress tensor for 1 and 2 where 1 and 2 indicates phase 1 and phase 2 so why there is a deformation happens along the interface because there might be a difference between the stresses so whatever the stress is there for, for the fluid one may be different from the fluid two so this n indicates the normal component of the vector and this is the normal stress balance where you have actually this this is called the curvature force and this is your gradient of surface tension so this particular term is only responsible for the Marangani flow so here this is written this is basically the concrete form of the normal stress balance and this is this is the tangential stress balance so in tangential stress balance you again have a gradient of surface tension component so those are the terms which are there as a boundary condition in build in COMSOL so if we demonstrate with COMSOL software we can't show this equation because those equations are given in the background and that is why in this particular video rather than demonstrating I am talking about the equations from the user guide so sometimes we need to look at the user guide we need to learn it we need to understand it so now where from this effect is to be added in level Z for that they have written actually I'll show you how to add this Marangani force yeah so they have written here locate surface tension section select the include surface tension force in the momentum equation and where will you get it you will get it in the multiphysics option so i have a screenshot for that particular case so if you work with laminar flow and level set then you have to do a multiphysics coupling which is inbuilt there and this is this is called two phase flow level set and in this particular uh, if you go here then you will have a settings window and in this setting window you will have an option and you have to check it and the option is include surface tension force in the momentum equation so once you check it what it will do it will it will actually keep this gradient of surface tension term intact so the gradient of surface tension terms are given in the boundary condition so those terms the gradient of sigma gradient of sigma so COMSOL will keep this term and then you will be automatically having the surface tension force or the Marangani force term if you uncheck it this particular thing will become zero so the effect of the surface tension gradient 
will not be there. So based on your requirement, you can check it or you can uncheck it. But it is important to learn about all the options. If something is being checked, why it is being checked, you have to inquire it and you have to justify it. So today I stop here. I guess this much inf information is necessary and sufficient for your simulation. And I would like to request you to subscribe to our channel and motivate us to make more videos on research and modeling topics. Thank you.